So we are at this place called SLR Biryani here in Gaudagere. So out here everything is prepared on wood fire. The family lives right next door and they come here in the morning and they prepare all the dishes. The first thing that gets served is the biryani. You get some ragi, you get some mutton kurma, the mutton sambar. I love the way she is making quick work of that ragi, of that millet. Okay. This is a very rustic village style mudde. That flavor of the rasa. I just love it. Mmm. Oh, that's delicious. Mmm. Namaskar, how are you? How are you? Yes, sir. How are you? How are you? Yes, sir. How are you? 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 Branch 2. Pure veg. New Ganesh. Nan Ganesh, correct. Nan Kantra Jo Kangi, Sharda. Sharda. Namaskar. How are you? Come on. Come on, sir. 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 Wonderful. I don't know if it's a biryani. I don't know if it's a biryani. So we are at this place called SLR Biryani here in Gaudagere. Yes, sir. Gaudagere. After Hegde Haldi. Yes, sir. Hegde Haldi Munde. So it's after Hegde Haldi on route to Hassan. Chandra Patna and Deshudura? 7 km. So we are about 7 km before Chandra Patna if you are driving from Bengaluru going towards Hassan. So the last time when I came here and I have a vlog on it, I am going to link it in the description below. I tasted the idli, I tasted the korma, I tasted that biryani rice matra pea sikilla, mutton sikilla. So I said a prayer and I came here and I said okay let me try and see if I can get some mutton biryani but this time with some peas as well. Ragi muddhi akta hai daili. Namaskara. Sharda ma. Sambar la maada bhi ura. So all the family over hai. Family over all. Wonderful. So the biryani yoga maada bhi ura. Order it? So, what is order? I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. The gods have smiled on us. Last time, I remember when I came here, they said that you have a piece of biryani and a piece of biryani come by 10 o'clock. Yes, sir. When you come from Bengaluru, it takes three hours, three and a half hours to get here. So, that means you have to leave. At least by 6, 6.30. I thought that was a difficult proposition. Today I said, let's try our luck. So there is the biryani here. Really, ragi mudde maarthi dhuro yoro. Where are you? White rice. White rice. Idli. Idli kali. Idli kali. Idli kali. Matan is there. Amber is there. Kabaab is ready. Kabaab is ready. Wonderful. Ragi mudde ready? Yes, yes. Busy, busy mudde. So out here, everything is prepared on wood fire. Mane illi hai la? Mane illi. So the family lives right next door and they come here in the morning and they prepare all the dishes. So they open right from in the morning from breakfast. The first thing that gets served is the biryani. Mate kaal soo pirata illi? Tale kaal chops. Ah, tale kaal. Last time tale kaal taste maadi the korma type. Yes, it's a tele-call mixer. Correct, it's a tele-call mixer. Yes, it's a tele-call mixer. So we tasted that. So it's a combination of the trotters and the head mutton as they call it. So that's what you will get in the morning. And then in the afternoon, well, if you're lucky, you'll get some biryani rice. No biryani pieces at all. But today, because they have a special order for catering, we've got some biryani pieces as well there. You get some ragi, you get some mutton kurma, the mutton sambar, the saru. It's very ragi, right? It's very ragi. It's very ragi, sir. Is it soft? Yes, it's soft. Is it smooth? Yes, it's smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth. It's smooth. I 
I love the way she is making quick work of that ragi of that millet. Uh, now she's got a chair for herself. She's smoothened this ragi paste and looks like she's going to get to work. Bisi rupee kala do. I just love the manner in which she is going about it rather effortlessly. I'm told she doesn't speak and she cannot hear, but I just love the manner in which she is rolling that ragi mudde. As we got off the car, I could see her just giving the finishing touches to cooking that millets in that pot that you have there. Even before we came here, that process was complete. I'm glad that we're at least getting to watch the rolling of that ragi mudde. Wonderful. Is there any rice in a bullet rice? Yes, sir. Bullet rice. Is there a curry? Yes. Sheep. Tagru, tagru. Tagru is male. Yes. Gandu. So, how many kilos are you? Gandu. That's why I'm going to eat it. 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 No, I'm going to eat it. So basically out here, the meat that is used is a sheep meat. And they call it Tagru, which is basically the male sheep. And out here they use 15 to 20 kilos. So the meat here is the sort that has a bit of a bite. And they say, it's a little bit of a bite. It's a little bit of a bite. That's when you extract the flavor. Wonderful. Ah, liver kuda hai dhe, Adhrali? Ah, liver cell hai rathe, sir. Like. Ah, so yalla mix piece hai rathe? Mix piece hai rathe. What I can also see here is that fat. I don't know what, it can kari thira niyo? Charbi. Ah, charbi gotho. So this is the fat, it is karagalla. Ah. Ah. It is karagalla, Allah. Karagalla. So this is the fat that doesn't dissolve. And that is the fat that imparts its flavor to the meat. And what's also nice here is that they also have some liver. So it's a very rustic sort of a biryani. It's not a city biryani, it's a hardy biryani. This is a gauda gere biryani. If you have a gauda biryani taste model, it's a taste model. It's very rustic, very punchy. It makes no pretenses. Pieces are the sort that are a combination of various parts of the animal. And they're full curry. Full curry is not all the same. So you have a soft piece of the meat. Leg. Okay, that looks like it's part of the leg. That is the liver. That is the liver that you have there. Ribs, right? That is the ribs, the chest of the sheep. So, this is the masala and the tomato. Yes, it's all the masala. It's very tasty. No, it's very tasty. Can you tell me? Yes. Can you tell me? Is there chili powder? Yes. Red chili, bad game, bad game, bad game, bad game, bad game, all the things. Yes, it's all the things. Is there poppy seeds? Yes, it's all the things. It's all the meat, 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 it's all the meat. So, it's all the masala. It's all the masala. So, it's all the same masala. So, that's very interesting. So, that masala here is a combination of some pulses, some lentils, some aromats. Then there is some of the other ingredients like the poppy seeds etc that go in to make that. So it's a very unique sort of a masala. And I think that's what makes this uh, Gaudegere biryani, the SLR biryani very unique. The last time too when I came here I tasted that biryani rice. It tasted unlike anything that I had tasted before. The smoke from the firewood is bothering my eyes but I guess that's what also brings character, flavor to the food here. I'm not going to say no to the Elnir. It's summer now. Very nice. Cooling. Okay. Ah, so, so gravy is like this. Sambar type. Ah, that is the talekal mutton, which is basically a combination of both the trotters and also the, the head mutton. कबाब तो फुल मसाले ला ना वे रेडी मारो न्यू रेडी मारो तो सो कबाब लंच टाइम ही क्या आउट लंच टाइम ही क्या मतलब नाइट उठे टाइम पे नहीं सिखते दिन ना टाइम चिकन फ्राई चिकन फ्राई ओके
ಸಿಗೋದು ಫ್ಲೈ ಓವರ್ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೆ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಎಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದಾರೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಪ್ಲಾನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಇರಲಿಲ್ಲ ನೋಡಿ ನಾನ್ ಹೆಂಡ್ಸಿದ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಬರ್ತಾ ನೋಡೋಣ ಅಟ್ಲೀಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಸಿಕ್ಕಿದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲ ನಿಮ್ದು ನಿಮ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲರಿಗೆ ಮೀಟ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಒಂದು ಹಲವು ಹೇಳಿ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದು ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಟರ್ನ್ ಔಟ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ ಸ್ಪೆಷಲ್ ಆರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಟುಡೇ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಫೋರ್ ವಿರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೋಪ್ಫುಲಿ ದಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೆನಿ ಆಫ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಎಪಿಸೋಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ದಮ್ ಒನ್ಸ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ರೀಬಿಲ್ಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಸೀಮ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೈ ಓವರ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೊ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದು ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ವೆಜಿಟೇರಿಯನ್ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಐ ಗೆಸ್ ದೇವ್ ಡನ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇಂಪ್ರೂವ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಅದು ಮಾಡಿದಾರ ಅದೇ ನಡೀತಾ ಇದೆ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಐ ಮೀನ್ ಯು ಮಸ್ಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಟು ದಿ ಎಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಔಟ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೊ ಎಷ್ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಆಯ್ತು ಓಪನ್ ಆಗಿ ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ ಆಯ್ತು ತ್ರೀ ಮಂತ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಆಫ್ಕೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಲಿಲ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ವಿಸಿಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಯಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟ್ರೈಡ್ ಇಟ್ do let me know in the comments below as to what you thought of slr wedge and hopefully sometime in the future when we are on the other side of the highway we too may drop in there for a quick meal but for now it's time to get some space and tuck into that very famous slr gaudegere biryani let's go So when they run out of the biryani meat, that's what you get, the kushka. So it comes with a motte, just to make up for the fact that there is no meat. And some onions and I think the table is made of masuru bhaji. Basically the salad, the onion salad which is called the masuru bhaji here. How are we going to eat the rangasamiyan? Yes. We are going to eat the rangasamiyan. Oh, okay. So we are going to eat the rangasamiyan. 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 ಸೊ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಟೀ ಒಂದು ಬಜ್ಜಿ ಪಲಾವು ಈ ಥರ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರು ಸೊ ಅವತ್ತು ಮರದ ಪೆಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಅಂಗಡಿ ಹೋಗಿ ಇವತ್ತು ಈ ಥರ ಹೋಟೆಲ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ಸೊ ಅವರೆಲ್ಲ ಈಗ ಏನು ಸಿಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಟೇಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಅವ್ರದೆ ಸೊ ಹದಿನೈದು ವರ್ಷ ಹಿಂದೆ ಏನು ಬಿಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಇತ್ತು ಏನು ವ್ಯವಸಾಯ ಇತ್ತು ವ್ಯವಸಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ಹಾಂ ಫಾರ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಳೆಯೋದು ಮತ್ತು ತರಕಾರಿಗಳು ಬೆಳೆಯೋದು ಟೊಮೊಟೊ ಬೆಳೆಯೋದು ಎಲ್ಲ ನಮ್ಮದು ರೈತರು ಏನೇನು ಕೆಲಸ ಮಾಡೋದು ಎಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ಲಿ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಫುಲ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಪೇಟ್ರಿ ಆಗಿ ಮಿಸ್ಟರ್ ರಂಗಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಓಪನ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ thatch structure to serve some tea coffee bhaji to the passers by on the highway and that is now grown into an eatery that enjoys the reputation for stellar meaty fare when you are this part of the highway when you are this part of karnataka and what's nice also is the fact that they have their farms behind so they haven't let go of the agriculture work so they still have the farming they're growing some corn i can see some cows there but what we are here now is to taste that biryani ಸೊ ಬಿರಿಯಾನಿ ಕೊಡಿ ಇದು ನಮ್ದು ಮುದ್ದೆ ಒಟ್ಟಿಗೆ ಏನು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ವಿಲ್ ಡೂ ದ ಮುದ್ದೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಮಟನ್ ಚಾಪ್ಸ್ ಹಾಂ ಅಷ್ಟು ಮಾಡೋಣ ದಿ ಸೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ರಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ವೆರಿ ರೂಡಿಮೆಂಟ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಮಚ್ ದೆ ಲಿವ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಗ್ರೂ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಲಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಥ್ಯಾಚ್ಡ್ ಹಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಕಿಚನ್ ಇಸ್ ಔಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಓಪನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ವುಡ್ ಫೈರ್ಡ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಗೋ ಟೂ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಟು ದ ಕಿಚನ್ ಯುವರ್ eyes will tear up but that's part of the atmosphere here and i think most of the people who come here don't mind the atmosphere they here for the food and uh, to me what i really found very endearing even the last time when i came here i just loved the warmth of the family they didn't know me at all then i just came in with my motorcycle buddies and we stopped here conversed with the family spoke with all of them and enjoyed relished our meal and even today when i return it's like i'm returning back to a friend's eatery that's the manner in which they have welcomed me chops chops and idu chikka mudde ya ha ha idu chikka mudde kuda dodde ide idu this is the halli style
I wanted to get the biryani first, but I said once I get the biryani, I may forget everything else. So we're going to begin with the chops, the chops and the mudde. While we took our shots here, I think the chops have cooled down a bit, which is where this bucket of busy busy sambar, mutton sambar comes handy. That sambar is steaming away, and will help add a bit of its hot vigor to this plate. This is a very rustic village style mudde. Idrali, bendne illa, enne illa, tuppa illa. This is a mudde that is made with skill. That flavor of the rasa, I just love it. And also, I like the consistency of that rasa. That rasa is almost like niru, is almost like water, and that is great because it helps. That mudde absorb that rasa rather greedily at that. Mm. So what you're tasting as you place that mudde in your mouth is a full-on vigor of that mutton sambar. Oh, this is delicious. Also, the mudde is a sort that has a bit of a graininess that you're tasting in that because there is nothing that's gone in. Some places they also use a little bit of butter. They use a little bit of enne just to make things a little smoother, just to make things a little shinier. But out here, none of that. It isn't a sort of mudde that will soften just as you place your fingers on it. You have to work on it. It's soft, of course, but the coarse texture of the mudde holds on to the rasa rather well. Mm. I love the flavor of that rasa. I think next, let's taste some of the mamsa. We use a tagru here, which is basically a male sheep, about 15-20 kilos. That's why this is a meat that will have a bit of bite. But as you bite on the meat, it releases within it all the flavors of that rasa. That rasa is balanced perfectly. There's a right amount of uh, spice, the chili heat. There's a bit of green that I'm tasting in there some way. I don't know if there's some coriander that goes in. Mm, delicious. And I think also when you have an animal that is on the heavier side, it also allows for the fat to develop completely and things like the liver, etc. that go into the making of every dish out here. Let's taste a piece now with that charbi, with the fat. Mm. Oh, I love it. Even as I'm chewing on the meat, with every chew, I'm rewarded with the flavor of that masala. Delicious. Now as I'm tasting more and more of the masala, tasting more of, more of the meat, I can taste a bit of the warmth of the red chilli powder on the tip of my tongue. But also that's where the mudde comes handy to mm, calm things with its very earthy flavours and texture. I'm always happy to meet a naldi mule or the bone marrow. And I think that naldi mule was very happy to meet me too. Mm. You know, if you come here before 10, 10, 30, you'll get the biryani. But even if you come here later than that, this chops with that ragi mudde or they also have white rice, I think they also make parotta in the morning, etc. It's a sort that will please you rather well. Mm. This part of the meat now was a little softer than the first piece that I tasted. Mm. So good. And if you want a bit of fibre, well, that's where the sautekai and the onion comes handy. Juicy, fleshy, perfect actually in the current weather. I've got a biryani too coming up next, but I don't feel like letting go of this mudde and mutton sambar. It's as good as that. You know, naan ense de, I will taste one or two bites of this mudde and find my way very quickly to the biryani. But I don't have the heart to let go of this. The meat is enjoyable, of course, 
But what's really nice is that because there's a lot of fat that they use in the making of that saru, that sambar, there's a lot of flavor that's trapped within that gravy itself. So the mutton pieces here are a bonus. So if you ask me honestly, if you were to just eat the mudde and the saru, that itself conveys all the flavor that you need. Ooh. And a tiny piece of liver too. Biryani kuda banto. There's a sliver of ginger that I'm tasting there somewhere. Namaskara. Chana ke dera. Aita uta. Oh really? What's your name? Mohan. Mohan. Namaskara. Last bit of the mudde before I place this on hold and go to the biryani. Ooh, super there. Ah, biryani basi there. So I asked him for a half biryani. In this half biryani, I have one piece of the meat here and a second piece of the meat here. So perhaps when you do a full biryani, you get four pieces of the mutton. But if I need some more mutton, I have some mutton from that chops, which is right here. And they serve to you with a motte to push the protein quotient of that plate a little more. And some onion and cucumber. He said you should try the chicken fry as well. This can maybe it's uh, it's their adaptation of the chili chicken. I think there's plenty of green chilies that must have gone into it. So out here they use the uh, bullet rice, which is the kolam rice. So it's a short grain rice, which is also quite sturdy. It isn't a rice that's too high in its aromatic quotient, like let's say the jeera samba rice or something else. But it's a rice I guess that is hardy enough to be cooked in a biryani, it doesn't break down very easily and also absorbs the flavours of that masala rather well. Mm. You know what's interesting here about this biryani and I tasted this kushka rice, the biryani rice the last time too, is the flavour. The flavour is quite unique, quite distinct and when they showed me that masala, the masala is a mix of some lentils, some spices, some aromats that go into it. So therefore the flavour that you taste in that masala of that biryani is quite unique. There's a light tinge of savoury sweetness that I'm tasting at the very end. I don't know if you can relate to that especially with respect to a biryani but that's the sort of flavours that I'm tasting. There's also a bit of very minute powderiness somewhere in that biryani masala. Mm. That rice, because they cook it with the meat, the meat fat, there's a lot of flavour that it's holding on to and I guess that's the reason why when you come here after 10.30 they don't have the meat pieces but people still don't mind and they will happily lap up that khushka. Mm. I think time to now move on to that meat. Mm. This is a meat piece that is rather soft, rather moist. You can see it clinging on to some of that fat. I suspect this is part of the shank of the sheep. Mm. Its texture is a sort that you really don't need to work it too much with your teeth. And there's that savoury umami hit of that fat, of the gelatin in that piece of meat. Mm. Oh, that's delicious. Mm. Namaskara. Subscriber are you? Thank you. Any sir, Nimdella. Santosh. Ali, how are you? Thank you. Always nice to meet food lovers wherever you go, whether in Bengaluru or in Gaudagere. Mm. And my second piece of meat, too is a mule. There's a bit of meat that's clinging on to it. That meat certainly seems to be the sort. That's the texture of tuppa. Mmm. Delicious. We have some kebab too that's arrived on the table. I'm only going to taste perhaps a piece. I really am quite intrigued by the flavour of this masala. There is somewhere a bit of that karapuri heat. There is somewhere a bit of that green masala that you're tasting. You know, whether it's a coriander or perhaps there's not too much mint. 
perhaps some green chilies. But I think the sweetness comes from some of the aromats that go in. Whether it's the cinnamon, the cloves, the elaki or the cardamom. I guess that's what contributes to that slight lilt of aromatic sweetness. And that minutely powdery texture is perhaps because of the lentils that form the base of the masala. I think it gives the spices something to hold on to as it coats every grain of rice, as every grain of rice absorbs that masala. There's another piece of meat here that I don't want to let go of. The meat is soft. Absolutely delicious. So there's some part of the fat that gets absorbed into the dish, into the rice as it's cooked. And there's some parts which don't dissolve. And that is something that you can also taste in its flavor and also in its texture. I think let's also pay attention to some of the other dishes that have found their way here. I think let's taste a bit of that chicken fry. Oh, that's a green masala. There's a green chili in that. There's a coriander, the mint that I'm tasting. So I think this is perhaps their version of something like a chili chicken perhaps. The meat isn't holding on to the flavor of that masala as much as the mutton in the mutton chop did and the mutton in that biryani. If I want some gravy, I think I'd be happier introducing a bit of that sambar to that rice, to the biryani rice. So good. The rice isn't very soft, isn't very fluffy. So don't come in with those sort of expectations. The character of kolam or bullet rice is such that it's a little hard. And I think where that rice really scores is in absorbing the flavor of that masala. Because that's really what you're tasting. Every grain of the rice that you taste here is imbued with that very unique masala that they make here in the Rangaswami household. Let's taste some of that Mosuru Bhaji. The yogurt with its acidity helps cut some of the pies that you're tasting in that biryani. Let's now taste some of that chicken kebab. So the kebab is available only during lunch and dinner. got the crispiness of the cornstarch. It's a kebab that's an okay side to your biryani. But of all the dishes that I've tasted here, I think my vote definitely goes to that mutton chops with the mudde and that mutton biryani. Of course, for the mutton biryani, you've got to come here before 10, 10.30. Today, we were just plain lucky. They had an order of the biryani and as we reached here, that biryani just, just about got ready and that's why we were fortunate to score a plate. There are some places that may not offer much by way of an atmosphere, but they make up for it in the food that they serve out. And SLR Biryani here in Gaudagere is one such place. If you get here before 10, 10.30 in the morning, you will get some of the mutton pieces too. If not, don't worry too much about it. That sambar that they serve, the mutton sambar, the mutton chops with the mudde, with the anna, and also that khushka, that biryani rice, makes it more than worth the drive that you will have to get here. I hope you enjoyed this meaty episode here in Gaudagere. The restaurant's getting busy, it's getting packed. Until the next time, take care, stay safe, stay strong and happy eating. You have to take the bill. Please, sir, no problem. Nandu, I have to take the policy. So, I have to take the video. I have to take the video. I have to take the cast. I have to take the biryani. I have to take the biryani. 240. 240. So, 240 and the biryani. 480. I have to take the mutton sambar. 420. I have to take the kebab. 
ಆತರ ಮಾಡ್ಬೇಡಿರಿ ಸಾಧ್ಯವಿಲ್ಲ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ತಗೊಳ್ಬೇಕು ತಗೊಳ್ಳಿ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ನಂದು ಹಣ ತಗೊಂಡ್ರೆ ಒಳ್ಳೇದಾಗತ್ತೆ ಇಫ್ ಯುಡ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಟು ಸಪೋರ್ಟ್ ದ ವರ್ಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ಅಟ್ ಫುಡ್ ಲವರ್ಸ್ ಟಿ ವಿ do consider joining our membership community on youtube by hitting the join button below or on the home page you could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage shoot updates access to live q and a's and a lot more you could support us on our patreon page as well for more info check out the links in the description below if you like this video don't forget to subscribe like share and leave a comment below happy eating <laughs>